Okay, just gonna make a quick video here about how I put in my uh, haptic feedback from uh, FreeSky into the Trinus. There's a couple of good videos that show how to do this. Basically, you just hot glue down and screw in your haptic feedback. You run the red, the black, and the white wire off of that. You have to solder that on yourself. And then uh, the white wire, the signal wire, goes over here to the number seven pin in this connector. So I just pulled out the pin and then started it directly to that, uh, that wire. The black wire gets soldered to the uh, left side here, D5, which is pretty easy to get in there. It's a good, I put a little dab of solder against that resistor and then solder that in there. The tough one is um, this soldering to the, to the left side of R10 right here. Well, I'm gonna zoom in here with my little magnifying glass so you can get a better, better look at that. Let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit more. Okay, so you can see what we gotta get to here is this, um, they do tell you in the videos to start at this side of R10 right here. So that's a really, really small spot. And I have the finest tip you can get for my Hakko solder uh, iron. And uh, I still wasn't able to, I didn't really try, but I, was, I saw how small it was. And I'm like, oh, I got to figure out a better way to do this. So what I did was they scraped away a little bit of the insulation that, that is um, on the board over the tracer that comes from R10 over here to this pad right here. I just scraped off a little bit of that insulation, that, that covering the green material, and and then hit it with my flux pen and just got it nice and clean. And then I uh, soldered a little dab of solder on there, and then it made it really easy to connect my red wire right under there. And then I just put a little hot glue just to take any stress off of that wire because it's still probably not a great connection. And add a little bit of uh, hot glue to my black wire over here just in case that the wire gets stressed out. Um, so I did that and it worked great, no problem. Um, so if anybody else out there is a little uh, um, afraid of uh, soldering to that, to that tiny little area on R10, um, that might work a little bit better. Just scrape that off really nice and clean. You have to be careful not to mess with the tracer. Put some solder on there, solder it on there. Much easier than getting to this side of R10 and less dangerous less chance of messing up radio if I completely just desoldered this R10 by mistake. Um, I'm not sure if that was going to do anything to the radio, but um, anyway, so that's uh, made it a lot easier.